Society of Amranthayan Educators of Happy Valley Business School presents Talks on Business Essentials. We talk what we know, we know what we talk. Knowledge is cumulative, let us acquire. My name is Dr. Veena and I teach marketing at Happy Valley Business School. The topic that I am going to talk about today is Marketing 1.0 to 4.0. Marketing has changed, don't you think so? Change is difficult, but not changing is more difficult and it gets costlier too. Everything around us has changed. Where uh, marketing used to talk about the needs and wants of customers, today a customer is no longer the same old traditional customer. His needs have changed, his wants have changed, his behavior has changed, his habits have changed and his consumption patterns have also changed. So it's very imperative for organization to make a note of these changes and do something for its survival. So what should a company be doing today? Uh, let me take you through four phases of marketing from marketing 1.0 to marketing 4.0 where we are today. So marketing 1.0. Well, this is uh, also called as tactical marketing. It was born out of uh, manufacturing boom in the 1950s. There's no better example than the Ford, where Henry Ford once famously said, I can give you any color as long as it is black. But we have an Indian example too. We have our own Ambi, the ambassador from Hindustan Motors. From 1950 to the last car that it sold in 2014, not many changes in its product design. It stuck to its production and product concept that it grew up with. Today, the product no longer exists. Marketing 2.0. This is more of a relational marketing born somewhere in 1970s and the 1980s. If you were born in the 70s and 80s, there would be certain advertisements that you would have grown watching up. Your Hamara Bajaj ads, your Lalita Ji of Surf, and of course, the I Love You Rasna ad that we are all very familiar with. So what happened during marketing 2.0? Customers started getting smarter than they were in marketing 1.0. They had slightly better choices available to them and customer loyalty as a term started being used and of course followed too. Marketing 3.0 went a bit further where it spoke about something more emotional. So it is also called as emotional marketing and it had a human side to the marketing too. Where customers were treated as just customer segments, very slowly they were being used as customers themselves. Their needs and wants were identified not as a group, not for a group, but for an individual and hence terms like personalization, customization, started doing the rounds. Imagine a paint company called as Asian Paints suddenly comes up and says, I can give you as many colors as you wish, any color as you wish. Merawala pink, Merawala blue, it's all yours. A old company like Philips came up with a product called as Philips Hues, where it said, I can give you any shade of colors depending on your mood. A company like Dell said, you can order from me and I will see to it that I deliver your laptop to you, the color that you wish, the hard disk that you wish, the speed that you wish and anything that you wish. Not to mention of course our KFCs and our McDonalds. We have uh, today options that are available to us so that 
every single customer's need is taken care of and all this led to where we are today marketing 4.0 christian does marketing 4.0 by none other than the father of marketing philip kotler in his book marketing 4.0 where he spoke about things that are happening currently we are moving from being traditional to being digital he doesn't offset the importance of offline but he just stresses the fact that the society is slowly getting online that is moving towards digital so he talks about a lovely combination of online and offline a meeting of something what you can see to something what you can feel so that the customer is the king ultimately so here we are today marketing 4.0 with one thing that marketers should really remember a customer is important if you have to survive a customer's uh, engagement does not stop with his purchase of the product in fact it increases and it has to improve after the purchase the reason being today a second customer looks at what the first customer has to say about the product so keeping him happy is what marketing 4.0 actually talks about well ever since uh, marketing started doing the rounds we thought yesterday's customer would be tomorrow's customers too but today a marketer has to take up what a customer wants today and give it to him tomorrow so let him continuously strive to wow his customer after all customer is king don't you think thank you for watching